Hey everyone, it's Cynthia. So this is going to be Pisces 2024 yearly horoscope. So let's get started. Now, as you begin the year, Jupiter will be in your third house of short trips, communication, siblings and neighbors, all the way through um, May 25th. Now, uh, starting May 26th, throughout the rest of the year, Jupiter will then be moving on from the third house into your fourth house of home. So the next 12 months after May 26 and into 2025, uh, you may relocate, renovate, or make changes around the home. Uh, this could also bring about a time of maybe moving into a place that is considered maybe more expensive. Maybe you purchase a home that is more uh, costly um, or making greater uh, investments into the home maybe purchasing more expensive appliances, replacing appliances that are more higher end. Um, now, I do want to give some dates before Jupiter moves into the fourth house of home that could be very beneficial for uh, seeing an increase of communication, purchasing a vehicle, computer, cell phone, telephone. So keep an eye on April 20th and July 15th for that. Now, keep an eye two weeks before and two weeks after those dates this is very, very significant at that time. So it's definitely going to be in your third house for a while. And this could actually bring about uh, short trips, communication, and increase of connecting and communicating with siblings and neighbors. So Jupiter is still going to bring a lot of great energy. And then after May 26, it moves into your fourth house of home. That could uh, be very beneficial for you relating to the home. Now, Saturn and Neptune will be in your own sign in house throughout the year. Um, Uranus will be in your third house throughout the rest of the year and into 2025. So, again, communication can easily increase. Now, in regards to Saturn and Neptune uh, and Uranus, you're going to have a full moon lunar eclipse on September 17th in your own sign in house. Saturn, Neptune, um, and Uranus are all going to be very positive, bring about a great positive connection to this eclipse. And eclipse lasts six months. So when it's in your own sign and house, it's all about you and your personal wants and needs, what, what you want to accomplish for yourself, where you want to be at in the future. This could relate to your career, finances, relationships, maybe relating to the home. So Jupiter and Uranus, I mean, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune actually all do well in connecting well with this eclipse. So it could bring about great opportunities, uh, opportunities that could actually be uh, brought about in a sudden, unexpected, positive way that could actually pay off for the long term. Now, Pluto will be entering your 12th house of secrets and solitude starting January 21st and will be there for a good 14, 15 years, if not longer. So Pluto in your 12th house can bring about a time of changes, making changes for yourself, letting go of the old, making way for the new. This could bring about opportunities to really focus on what has not been working for you and time to make those changes. Now, Mars will be entering your sixth house of work, service, and health starting on November 3rd through June 17, 2025. And the reason why it's going to be there for so long is because you will be having a Mars retrograde that will start on December 6th through February 23rd, 2025. So having Mars in your sixth house, you can definitely expect to see an increase of tedious tasks and projects, work projects. You may be feeling like you're working harder for the money. It could bring you more money, including bonuses, commissions, sales, but this could actually bring about a time of seeing more work and effort, focusing on uh, an increase, like I said, of tasks and projects that could all pay off itself in a very financial way. During the Mars retrograde, though, again, you may be feeling like you're working harder for the same amount of money, possibly. Maybe you're taking on more work. So it's all going to depend on what's going on at that time and how it ends up affecting you. Now, the other thing, too, is it could relate to your health and well-being. Maybe you start an exercise program. Maybe you find new ways to take care of your health and well-being by exercising and eating more healthier. This could also bring about a time of uh, taking care of your pets, the health and well-being of a pet, maybe focusing on their well-being, 
It could also be your own well-being, going to the doctor, getting medical exams, uh, taking on more uh, focus on what you need to do to take care of yourself or maybe take care of a pet, especially if it's an elderly pet. But this is actually a time of taking care of maybe things that you've been neglecting. It could relate to your bones, your teeth. Um, like I said, getting medical exams. Maybe it's time to catch up if you've been neglecting your health. Maybe it's time to catch up on all that. But it's actually, uh, like I said, you may easily notice um, an increase of work and projects. And this is actually a time also to focus on your health. So you're going to be dealing with a series of eclipses. Um, besides the one that I told you about, September 17th, and your own sign and house, that connects very well with uh, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. Now you're going to be having two eclipses in your 8th house of joint resources, taxes, credit cards, and loans. One will be a full moon lunar eclipse on uh, March 25th, and the other one will be a new moon solar eclipse on October 2nd. Each eclipse lasts six months, so this is actually going to be a time where you may gain through taxes, credit, loans, gifts, rewards, um, inheritance, settlements, side incomes that um, will be very beneficial for you. So this could be maybe something that you're already being prepared for, expecting, maybe not expecting, and you gain in unexpected ways. There could be the possibility of gaining through uh, lottery winnings, casinos, gambling, possible. I would not be rent, bent, betting the rent money uh, thinking you're going to hit it big because there's an eclipse that fell on your eighth house. There could be that possibility you win something. No guarantees it will be big winnings. Um, the eighth house, like I said, could be very beneficial. On the lunar eclipse on March 25th, this could also bring about a final settlement or final uh, payoff in a debt or loan. So maybe you're paying off some debts or loans. Now, this could actually just bring about the opportunities for you to take on new debts or loans, but it's also going to depend if you're expecting that. For instance, you're maybe taking out an, a loan to take out more furniture to do a repair. So it might be something that is already being expected to do. This is actually going to be a time of financial opportunities. Maybe you gain through bonuses, commissions, and sales. Now, you are going to be having a, a new moon solar eclipse in your second house of earned income. That will be on April 8th. So the next six months could bring about new sources of income, more money, um, opportunities that could bring you more money and more opportunities to build more income. Now, I did want to give you some extra additional uh, career and financial dates that could be very beneficial and could pay off for you. So keep an eye on the dates of <clears throat> um, July 21st. Um, now, you are going to be having a full moon on May 23rd. That's actually going to be also another positive financial time. It's a full moon. But this could actually be uh, very positive at the end financially. Now, you will be having some additional dates throughout the year that I will mention in the monthly horoscopes. But with this new moon eclipse that lasts six months, could actually be very profitable for you. It could bring a new source of income. It could bring you more money. It could bring the fact of you finding new ways to bring in more money. Also... With those eclipses in your eighth house, you may gain through additional sources, like I said, bonuses, commissions, side incomes, side ventures, and this could actually pay off in a very beneficial way for you. So you're going to have um, some great eclipses, even though some that are a full moon eclipse, but that will actually be more uh, positive on a financial level. So if you've been looking to see, I need to build more income, uh, find new ways to bring in more money. This could actually really pay off for you. So 2024 could be very beneficial for you. That could build more stability, more security, more for the long term. So again, keep an eye throughout the year with my monthly horoscopes. You've got a lot going on, especially on a financial level. you got the eclipse that's going to be starting to fall in your own sign on September 17th. 
So keep an eye on my monthly horoscopes. You got a lot to look forward to. Thanks for watching.